Hi guys, you are watching Arc Habit 2, especially for young innovative minds. In today's session, we are going to discuss some mathematics questions from J.E. Main's paper 2. So, before beginning our session, there was a doubt regarding the counting of hidden tigers in NATA 2020 test 1 paper which we discussed in previous video so actually we can wait for the official answer key to come in many websites they are showing up the answer 12 apart from the four main tigers and in minority of them they are showing up the answer 14 so we can wait for the official answer key to come okay so don't bother about that over is over and we we have in front test 2 and we will prepare a strategy for you for the nata test 2 preparation after this jebr examination okay and if there is any care lights watching this happy onam belated happy onam okay so coming to the first question this is the first question so read it yourself and try it yourself if you are not not getting that then again try that and if you are not getting that then play the video for the solution okay so actually in this je means you should not attempt any question if you are not sure about that because there is a negative marking system but for nata you can readily tick any of the options if you aren't sure or yes you are sure but in this we have negative marks so don't go for abrupt marking okay so we can check they are given z1 square plus z2 square is equal to 4 so we can do this part so this will be z1 square plus z one bar the old square plus two is at one z one bar uh, plus z two square plus z two bar square plus two is at two is at two bar so this is a familiar formula for us this is z bar as a modulus of z and is at two is at two bar is also is z two modulus okay this is z1 modulus and this is z2 modulus and this will be modulus of z1 the old square this two will be modulus of z1 the old square and this will be modulus of z2 the old square and this will be modulus of z2 the old square so we will end up with 2 into z1 square plus z2 square plus 2 into modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 and this is 2 into 4 plus 2 into what is this yeah so we will end up with the answer 12 okay hope you are clear about that okay now moving on to the next question this is a very simple question the smallest positive integer n for which n factorial is less than n plus 1 by 2 the old raised to n so just check for a uh, check some smaller positive integers for n and check if they are right so 1 factorial less than 1 plus 1 by 2 the old raised to what is that the old raised to n that is old raised to 1 so this will be 1 less than 1 it's not true we can check the next thing 2 factorial is 2 itself less than 2 plus 1 3 by 2 the old raised to 2 this is 2 less than 9 by 4 
9 by 8 by 4 is 1 so 9 by 4 and 8 by 4 is 2 sorry so 9 by 4 will be definitely greater than 2 and hence this statement is correct so b is the correct option smallest positive integer n for which n factorial less than n plus 1 by 2 the old is to n now moving on to next question a person writes letters to six friends and addresses the corresponding envelopes the number of ways in which all letters or five letters can be placed in wrong envelopes is so there is a simple shortcut formula for this type of questions we will discuss about that so yes this is the formula n c r into r factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial etc up to 0 ok so we will not allow any negative numbers to this ok uh, up to 1 it is ok up to 1 sorry up to 1 so this will be 6 c 5 into 5 factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial and if you are solving this you will reach to the answer 264 which is our A option now this is the next question a laboratory blood test is 99 percentage effective in detecting a certain disease when it is in fact person however the test also yields a fast a false positive result for 0.5 percentage of healthy person tested if healthy person tested then with probability 0.005 the test will imply that he has the disease if 0.1 percentage of population actually has the disease then what is the probability that person has disease given that his test result is positive so this is a simple thing we have the formula p of a is equal to p of e into p of a given e p of a is equal to p of e1 into p of a given e1 by p of e2 into p of a given e2 plus p of e1 into p of a given e1 so simply substitute the values you get for p of e1 p of a given e1 and everything into this and simply solve this I am just giving the hints about which property or which basic thing we should use in this problem okay this is a sample question which we get in NCRT I think one eighth question there is and yeah if you are able to solve that question it is pretty easy to solve this too this is the next question 81 sine square x plus 81 we can make all those terms into sine sine square x terms okay so 81 1 minus sine square x right is equal to 30 now this will be 81 sine square x plus 81 into this is that 81 into 81 raised to minus sine square x is equal to 30 right so this will be 81 sine square x plus 81 by 81 sine square x is equal to 30 so rearranging these terms and 
giving t is equal to 81 all raised to sin squared x we will get a quadratic equation in terms of t and finding the answer of t we can directly reach the value of sin square x and hence to the value of x so we will be getting multiple values of x you should only take the values possible okay so that's the simple way to answer this question simple quadratic equation okay now this is our next question i like the differentiability part very much so i am going to do this whole thing so rate of change of root of x square plus 8 with respect to x by x minus 1 so if y is equal to root of x square plus 8 and t is equal to x by x minus 1 we need to find out dy by dt right so this will be dy by dx divided by dt by dx and this is 1 by 2 root of x square plus 8 into 2x divided by what is this giving a, a way to quotient rule we will get x minus 1 minus x divided by x minus 1 the whole squared right so solving that we will get um x divided by root of x square plus 8 into x minus 1 the whole squared into x minus 1 minus x so this is x into x minus 1 the whole squared divided by root of x square plus 8 into minus 1 so we just need to give x is equal to 4 and find out the answer and you will reach to the answer minus 3 root 6 which is our b option now this is the next question a box is constructed from a rectangular metal sheet is 21 cm by 16 cm right so this is our box 21 into 6 so cutting squares from each sides the height of the formed box will be x this is a simple question of applications of derivatives so this will be 21 minus x and this will be 6 16 okay 16 minus 2x right so we need to find f of x maximum where f of x is the volume and so this volume will be breadth into height into width oh, sorry yeah uh, length into breadth into height so this will be 16 minus 2x into 21 minus 2x into x right so we need to find f of x maximum so first of all we need to find the first derivative find the values of x and put the values of x in second derivative and if the second derivative to a value say x1 is positive then it is minimum and if f dash of x at x is equal to x2 is negative then for that value the volume will be maximum so find out the value and you will get the answer okay now this is the next question again from derivatives uh, f of x is equal to x into e raised to minus x we need to find all those maximum minimum cases so just f of x is equal to x into e raised to minus x so f dash of x is equal to yeah minus x into e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus x 
if f dash of x is equal to 0 we will get the values of x as right this will be 1 minus x right is equal to 0 so either e raised to minus x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 okay now find f dash of x then if you are getting negative 1 then at x is equal to 1 you will have a maximum and if it's less than 1 minimum and if it's equal to 0 neither maximum nor minimum okay clear so this i think this is our last question and it's from mathematical reasoning and yeah as i say in every video mathematical reasoning is a part which you can score 100 percentage mark okay so i think this type of question came in nata also r and p q have truth value t and r s have truth value f so what is the truth value of this kind of equation so we can check negation of p which is true uh, and negation of r means true or negation of q is false or simply truth value of s that is false so this will be negation of true and true gives us true or false or false will give you a false now true or false will be true and negation of true will be false right this will be false so that's the end of the session hope you enjoyed the session do subscribe the channel if you like the session and you feel it very helpful for the last minute preparation or revision and do subscribe to our channel to get regular updates and also strategy for nata 2020 test 2 and also some sessions based on the thing we felt or we faced during the examination first test examination so yeah hope you subscribe the channel and do share and hit the like button thank you